Member from Richmond Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is my pleasure to speak on the resolution calling on, on our federal government to begin negotiation on a comprehensive new immigration agreement with Ontario. Mr. Speaker, the success of our newcomers is vitally important to the success of our province of Ontario. Immigration is Ontario's lifeblood. Almost half of the country's immigrants settle in Ontario. A few thousand immigrants choose to settle in my riding of Richmond Hill every year. As a result, the population of Richmond Hill has been increased from about 60,000 in 1990 to almost 200,000 in 2010. My family and I are in fact immigrants to Canada who moved to Richmond Hill in 1991. It's expected that population of York Region will reach to 1.5 million within the next 20 years. Newcomers are key component of our labor, force growth, and prosperity in Ontario. They bring a wide range of work expertise and life experience to our country. They are doctors, engineers, lawyers, teachers, nurses, technicians, technologists, entrepreneurs, business executives, artists, academics, workers, just to name a few. Within the next decades, newcomers will be the only source of net labor force growth in our province. When the immigrants arrive, no matter what is the level of their education and the work experience or family background, or their country of origin, or their ethnicity, they all face with the reality of life in the new land. They have to deal with numerous issues pertaining to settling down in their chosen country, their new home. That's why we need to ensure that our newcomers have the resources they need to succeed and contribute to our country. Ottawa has signed federal provincial immigration agreements with other provinces, such as Manitoba, British Columbia, and Quebec. These agreements address the unique local needs of newcomers in those provinces. Ontario's newcomers deserve a comprehensive new agreement that addresses their local needs. The McGuinty government is calling on the federal government to begin discussions immediately on a comprehensive new agreement that provides Ontario with the funding, planning, and management necessary for Ontario's newcomers to succeed. I urge Ottawa to spend the remaining $207 million promised under the first Ontario-Canada Immigration Agreement on services Ontario's newcomers need to succeed. Madam Speaker, Ontario's strength and competitiveness depends on new Canadians settling in Ontario and settling smoothly and ensuring that they have the tools to succeed. The newcomer's success is our success. And with almost half of new immigrants to Canada, Settling in Ontario, uh, this is an issue of national importance. Immigration is a key component of our labor force because newcomers will represent the only source of net labor force growth within the next decade. Ontario's newcomers arrive with skills, talents, and experience. We have an obligation to help them integrate their skills and talents into our society and to our economy. By putting the skills of our newcomers to work, we are ensuring that Ontario remains strong and prosperous. The past generations of immigrants help to build our province and our country. Today, that tradition continues. But we know that the talents of some newcomers are not being fully utilized. 
We need a new comprehensive agreement with the federal government to match the realities of our economy <coughs> and the importance of immigrant success for Ontario's prosperity. That means funding, planning, and governance necessary for immigrants to succeed and Ontario to prosper fully. Earlier this year, the first Canada-Ontario Immigration Act expired. We have repeatedly asked the federal government to begin negotiations, but they continue to delay the discussions. We are also waiting for Ottawa to spend the remaining $207 million that they promised to newcomers under the original agreement. That's why we are calling on the federal government to come to the table to begin negotiations immediately on comprehensive new agreement that ensures that Ontario immigrants have the resources they need to succeed. <coughs> According to the Conference Board of Canada, better settlements and integration of immigrants would add tens of thousands of skilled workers to the labour force, resulting in a 4.1 to 5.9 billion dollar boost to our national productivity and income. According to the Royal Bank of Canada, if foreign-born workers were as successful in the Canadian workforce as those born in Canada, personal income would be about $13 billion higher each year than present. Madam Speaker, these figures speak loudly. They tell us that every year we are losing at least $13 billion as a result of issues related to the immigrant settlements. The spending on immigrant settlements is not an expense to our governments. In contrast, it is an investment in our people and in the future economy of our nation. In Ontario, we are a province of 13 million people competing in a global economy with much larger established and emerging economies. We need a long-term deal with our federal government to ensure that we provide the required services to the newcomers to allow them to thrive. We need the talents of the new Ontarians. Madam Speaker, throughout the life of the first Canada-Ontario Immigration Agreement, the federal government underspent what it promised by $207 million. Underspending on services and programs that help immigrants as they transition to new career is not helpful. That's why we need comprehensive new arrangements to support the success <coughs> of our newcomers to Ontario. Other provinces have agreements with the federal government that respond to the unique local needs of their newcomers. It's time for Ontario to get a comprehensive new agreement that benefits Ontario newcomers. Madam Speaker, provision of settlement services to the newcomers is not all related to the funding. It's about easy access and improved services for our newcomers. Under the existing system, immigrants face a patchwork of services and duplications by various government agencies. For newcomers, this can be overwhelming and confusing. Immigrants and Ontario are not being served well as they could be by current system. We need a comprehensive new arrangements that address the needs of the newcomers to Ontario. The, services, uh, the service providers delivering the settlement services such as language training and other support for immigrants are burdened by two sets of paperwork, two sets of programs for one set of people being served. This is unnecessary and unproductive. Ontario's eligibility criteria for the programs it funds are broader than the criteria Citizenship and Immigration Canada. 
Programs administered by the province will have blended eligibility so that doors currently closed on the new citizens and refugee claimants are opened. Madam Speaker, Ontario is a destination of choice for immigrants to Canada. <coughs> Almost three million immigrants have arrived in Ontario since 1980. This figure represents about half of all immigrants entering Canada during that period. In 2009, 106,867 immigrants coming to Canada landed in Ontario. This represents 42% of all immigrants to Canada. Ontario continues to drive Canada's economy. Ontario generates 39% of the national GDP, produces 43% of total merchandise exports. Ontario is the home for almost 50% of all employees in high-tech, financial services, and other knowledge-intensive industries. Successful immigrants' integration is closely linked to Ontario's economic and social outcomes. Immigrants account for approximately 30% of Ontario's current labor force. In Toronto, nearly one in two, meaning 48% labor force participants are immigrants. The Canada-Ontario Immigration Agreement was signed on November 21, 2005 and provided $920 million in new federal funding for settlement services over a five-year period, in addition to $540 million in base funding. A one-year extension of the agreement was announced on May 5, 2010, which commits an additional $428 million for the year 2010-2011. However, only $713 million of the new money was spent throughout the original agreement. A shortfall of $207 million remains. Since 2005, the Government of Ontario allocated a total of $775 million on immigration programming. Programming includes settlement, language training, and labor market integration services. Ontario supports Francophone immigrants and Francophone communities by providing access to settlement services and the bridge training programs in French as well as English and French as a second language instruction through school boards. To reform Ontario's investments in immigration, the 2009 Ontario budget committed a total of $94 million over two years to expand mentorship and bridge training support to immigrants in this province. Madam Speaker, I urge the federal government to come to the table and negotiate a fair and comprehensive immigration settlement agreement with Ontario. The success of our newcomers is the success of our country. Thank you, Madam Speaker.